Hey everybody. Let's see. Okay. So today is November third. It's about noon right now, and I'm currently at the hospital that I volunteer at. Um, I just wanted to get some stuff off of my mind before I went in to like go volunteer for a little while. Um, cause, you know, with the whole doula works, you need to really put your own stuff, you know, behind you. You need to put it, leave it at the door when you enter. Um, so I felt like, you know, maybe some sharing would help a lot. So two things that I've been exploring with a lot are boundaries, um, and, oh shoot, I forgot the other one. But, anyways, um... Boundaries have been coming up a lot for me currently, just like in the last like week or so, or less than that, um, because I have never really had boundaries, and that's kind of, um, that can obviously be like a, something that you're not good at can feel like not something you really want to talk about, but, um, it is something that I'm exploring and and I'm working on it and um, I kind of just started the journey. I know I've been in and out of um, of realizing like oh maybe I should work on my boundaries um, but then it kind of just goes away because it doesn't feel like a priority. Everything else feels like a, a bigger priority and that's the one thing that like there's just some things in this world that just feel like, oh my gosh, like, is that even real? Like, is that even helpful? Is that even, like, worth following or, you know, anything like, or those questions that really just make you feel like, you know, is it a priority in your life? Is it worth having in your life? And, um, um, and my answer to that would be yes mainly because friendships and relationships, um, human connection in general, which is what I'm a huge proponent of, takes, um, takes boundaries, and communicating with another human being is, like, so complex. It's ridiculous how complex it can be. So, um, I've always tried to sort of just make it super easy and not, like, make it harder than it really has to be, and that has honestly only really landed me, um, unhealthy relationships and unhealthy friendships, and so, like, with that in mind, it's, of course, becoming more of a priority in my life to, like, have bigger and better boundaries with people in my life, and, um, that is the cutest dog I have seen in a long time. <laughs> little hopskippity dog. Anyways. <sighs> and I wish I could remember the other thing I was thinking about, too, or that's been on my mind, but, um, uh, I just can't, it, but it tied, it tied pretty well into what I was, uh, into the whole boundary thing, it was kind of like a nice addition to it, but I'll think about it and mention it later, so that's just what's been going on, um, I hope that, like, this chapter of my life of now, like, being single and not having anyone to really take care of and all of that, I really hope that it you know, teaches me to take advantage of self-care, self-love, basically just being super selfish, but in, like, a positive way, in a productive way that, like, actually benefits me and makes me look and feel and, like, vibrate or have vibrance, you know? I hope that it you know, gives me joy and that it doesn't come off as a negative vibe. And I, like, I don't want to, like, the, th the other reason why I didn't really have that many boundaries was because I didn't want to come off as, like, stuck up. I didn't want to come off as, like, everybody else who has boundaries. And, ooh, boundaries are such a big deal. And it's just, I just kept thinking, like, 
Like, they're, they're a deal. Like, it's a thing. Just like eating crap and... And just like anything else that exists in the world, in the world, like you, you follow what you think has meaning to you, and you just kind of discard the rest. And um, and actually, what that truth is, is that there are principles and morals and things that we all must follow. And I actually do really like when um, I do think it's really attractive when people follow. Um, those rules and morals and like boundaries and stuff when it's not expected um, to follow them in that moment and so um, so I hope to do that more and I hope to be a good example of how to have boundaries and I hope to learn my boundaries because I know that I have some I just have not made them obvious or I haven't, you know, made them a big deal and that, and just that alone is, like, kind of makes me choke up a little bit because, like, it just shows a lot more self-worth for myself. It just shows how much I haven't been paying attention to my own needs and my own, like, my own self-love. It just shows that, like, I ignore myself a little too much and so I hope that if nothing else um, you take away that like boundaries are super important and if you're one of those people like me who just have zero boundaries then um, just do some research on it um, look up the definition of it look up different forms of it look up examples anything I'm definitely doing that myself um, and so yeah I will catch up with you guys again very soon. Bye.